This is the official first English podcast with the legend, the legend, David Loiseau. What's happening, LP? Dude. LP Dynamite. What's going on? Hey, that's what I call him. LP <laughs> Dynamite. You want to know why? Look at his biceps. Look, look, look at the biceps, the triceps, the traps, the neck. This guy is so strong. My God. First time I rolled with him in drink jiu-jitsu class. You know, he was one of my first students. I was like, what the hell is going on here? I taught him like one escape and he did it like over and over. I'm like, man, I couldn't hold him down. It was crazy. I loved it. I loved it. I'm like, he's going to be one of the good guys for sure. For sure. <laughs> and, 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 and our first role was like, I was like debating if I was going to fight again. That was 2014. I was debating if I was going to fight again. So I'm like, yeah. So I was going hard. My live roles were hard. Just in case they called me, you know. So I'm going with LP. I'm like, okay, he's strong enough. He can handle it. So I go. I push the pace. I push the pace. Push the pace. And then that was his first day at the gym. Okay, LP. Salut, man. See you, see you man. Uh, there's a class more if you want to come. Okay, okay, okay. He, he, he went like this. Okay, okay, okay. Next day, I open the gym, blah, blah, blah. I see him walk in. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> He's one of the guys. He's one of the guys who's going to stick around. He's one of the guys that wants it. I was like, I, I was like, I was so happy. Was, what a blessing. <laughs> and I didn't know nothing about you. Like, nothing. I didn't know about your acting career. Nothing, 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 nothing. It's crazy. I discovered as we trained and became friends. He's like, yeah, yeah, je suis un acteur, uh, lancé compte. Uh, I'm like, what? What? And I think it's one of the trainers. I think it's Tyrone that, that told me Tyrone's as well. the one, yeah, because yeah, he, he knew. Yeah, he knew. Yeah, because he, he had watched it. He had watched some of this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I wouldn't, it's not a, you just, you know, I went there to train. So, yeah, it, it, yeah, you know, totally yeah. different, different yeah. crowd. So you're like, okay. And then, uh, but the funny, the funny, the funny one was, ah. Um, uh, Sexy boy, what's his name, man? Uh, Doucette? Uh, uh, no, Sam? no, not Sam. Um, um, uh, one of Tehran's uh, friends, and uh, not Duke, not, I don't remember. But he, it took him three years because he had seen Zneuf Du, right? But he didn't make the connection. All he knew is he didn't like my face because of that. And so three years later, David. Oh, um, Bradley. Yes, yes, sexy Bradley. Yes. Shout out to Sexy Bradley. So like three years later, you went, man, I didn't like you. I didn't know why. <laughs> You're at the gym all the time. Like, I don't like that guy. I don't like that guy. Then I went, oh, shit. Yeah. It's from TV. It's it has from nothing TV. to do with you. To do it was with, so yeah. funny. I said, yeah. well, <laughs> you don't know. That you is know? dope, man. Yeah, but you don't know. That is dope. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, those first, that first month, because I had been sampling gyms like for like a month and go a month and, uh. And I almost signed it someplace else, but then because of you, because I was an actual fan, I went, oh, he's opening a school, I gotta go. And you, like, it was, I, I went there like mid summer, and you, you had just opened like in, in, what was it, the spring? It was, uh, no, I opened in December. In December? December, okay. and uh, yeah. Yeah, so six months later, I, yeah. I, I kind of I went there. So well, yeah. I gotta try at least a month there. Yeah, yeah. With you, and goddamn, yeah, it was those, yeah, those, those roles were hard, but. I was so committed. I had one objective. I just, I just, I just want to get a blue belt. You that, want that, your blue belt. That, yeah. Because I went, if I can just stick that, go from zero to at least know it a little bit. And so I was like, there's no way. I was like, nah, there's no way. I got to go back. I got to go back. I got to go back. And you passed the, the, the blue belt curse, right? You yes, know, I did. You, yeah, yeah. You know, a lot of people <laughs> want to get their blue belt. Their blue belt, they're like, you know what? I'm out. They're like... This is way harder than I thought. And now all the purple belts want to smoke me and the white belts that want their blue belts want to smoke me as well. I'm a target. I'm not interested in this shit. Peace. Yeah, that might be it. I don't know why. I don't know why either, but the, the, it is there is well, a curse. I, yeah, but I've there heard. is it's true. I that's thought it was I've a heard. joke, but then you you see you, yeah, what, yeah, you, they disappear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They disappear. Life happens also, oh, yeah. you know. But uh yeah. it's it, jujitsu is it, The gentle art, yeah, it's gentle art, but man, you, you know, if you do it over and over and over again for years on years, it takes a toll on you. 
takes a toll on you. If you don't train properly, that's one thing that I tell my students all the time. Um, they ha you have to, to, to do either calisthenics or weights to complement your jiu-jitsu, you know, to, to, so that your muscles stay strong, so, so your muscles protect your joints. You know, you, you can't just rely on technique and, 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 and finesse, and you need to have a strong body. Strength matters. Yeah, strength matters, you know, to survive to survive your jujitsu journey, yeah. you know, <laughs> you know, to stay, to, to stay one piece, man, you need, you need to work on your muscles. If it's not weights, do calisthenics, push ups, pull ups, squats, lunges. I mean, I mean, those, you do these basic things or the basic lifts, you know, bench press, squats and deadlifts. That's, That's the beautiful thing about the school is that everything's there. Everything's there. And sled, sled. Sled pushing and sled pulling. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That that's saved not, my knees. Yeah, saved I'm my knees. I'm so happy for that. Shout out to a knees, knees over, over toes, toes guy. guy. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no joke. Yeah, man. That's it's no real. joke. Man, I had I had uh, two knee surgeries. You know, they they tried to to uh, redo my meniscus. When and was I, that? That was 2012. Okay. 2012 or 2011, and um, and then they they scoped it out. And uh, the doctor told me, you know, I have bone on bone arthritis on my knee, so it was it was tough for me to keep fighting, keep competing, keep yeah. training hard, you know, just sparring and all that stuff, getting good kicks to the leg. It, it, it was tough for me. So my last three four years, I still won four out of my last five fights, but I was still not a hundred percent. So that you know, a lot of people retire from fighting because of you know brain trauma and all that stuff and knockouts. Man, I won four of my last four fights. Last one I lost by decision. There was no knockouts, no knockdowns. It was because of my knee. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I could barely. I was able, barely able to walk after practices and stuff like that. So it was tough, man. It was tough. So, so yeah. But now, now my knee's almost back to. A hundred percent. Like I would say 70, 75. Yeah, yeah. But it's beyond know? what you thought it was ever gonna be. Oh my that that that's God. what that's what I went, okay, I'll try it and then yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. What is going on here? Yeah, I got yeah. I'm, I'm missing and then my ACL's gone, one of my meniscus is destroyed. Yeah. Same knee. So I yeah. went, you know, yeah. can't there's not much I can do, okay. Start yeah. doing just just a reverse walk on the sled. Yes. Reverse pulling and push and pull. All of a sudden I'm What's going on? It doesn't doesn't move as much as it does. It's like it's getting stronger. Tired, what? Yeah. 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 So all the muscles around it are yeah. kind of yeah. protecting the knee. Yeah. I was amazed. I was yeah. amazed. Yeah. I didn't talk to me. Uh, yeah. I don't know if he did it, but uh, last time I talked to Lee Villeneuve, yeah. the legend. My, my guy. I was with him this weekend. <laughs> Were you? Yeah. Yeah, of course. At, at okay. Oh, let's talk about that because now jiu-jitsu competitions are back in Quebec. Yeah. The legal... And you Legal were Legal. there. We yeah. had uh, Silvio there competing. I had, yeah, had Silvio and, you and had... Maeva. Like, oh, like, 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 yeah, that's true. Maeva yeah. was there. Yeah, yeah. So How'd Silvio, it go? Silvio um, went up in weight. He went He went and fought uh, the heavyweight. Why? Because um, um, <laughs> it's Silvio? Yeah, because it's Silvio. But, 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 but he, he lost. He lost the match. Um, he had two matches. One by points. Yeah. And he, he was exhausted. It was his first, first, first. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, but but I, I told him, you broke the ice. This is This is so important this is this is great man it's so hard it's so uncomfortable to go out there and compete and put it on the line and you did it and i just i'm, I'm proud of you and um he, he he did well he lost but he did well and maiva was is uh she's she's like um an ex soccer player so yep. like high level and man the way she listens to the, to the coaching the way she 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 responds to coaching it's crazy. As like, she was fighting? Yeah, man. Wow. This, 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 rarely I've seen coachable athletes like that. Like, rarely. Like, like underhook, uh, snap down, uh, keep her shoulder on the mat, scarf, wait, 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 wait. All right, now go. She was doing everything. Really? Everything. It wow. freaked me out. It was like a video game. <laughs> it was like me playing like Nintendo or Sega Genesis. You guys don't even know. The, 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 young, the youngins don't know, but you guys are from our generation. Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. Who, what was my favorite? What was your favorite game in, in Super Nintendo? Mine was Blaze of Steel. Ooh, Blaze of Steel was pretty good. I have to say, 
Super Mario Kart. We we played that. Kart? So, Super Mario Kart? Yeah. We played it too much. I mean, we played it to the point where we were making holes in the wall <laughs> because, well, we're brothers, man. Yeah. So you're 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 going you're winning and then you hear your younger brother go hey, hey, yeah, and he yeah, throws yeah. a fucking turtle and you wow. ah, 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 ah. Wow. and then you hear him go ah, 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 and you're like <laughs> so much rage David <laughs> so much rage and what? we had uh, we had uh, I think it was my mom's house we had you know, remember those wood panel uh, 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 um walls like in basements it was like fake wood but yeah, it was uh, about absolutely. three millimeter so ah, and then we'd go oh shit and then we'd like put like uh, our own drawings on it or art or shitty things just to block just that a, we, yeah because it was a because there was a hole it was a there was a hole in the wall <laughs> man that is crazy oh yeah 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 that hey, is dope. three boys man so three so it was, you know, the, the, it was it wasn't competitive, but for video games, yeah, what it became was the really age, competitive. Age difference between the three? Uh, two and a half years with my brother Matt, who played hockey, and then I have ooh, almost almost seven years with Alex. Okay, okay, okay. So he was a little okay. he so, was a little bit behind. Okay, okay, okay. But me and Matt, man, man, to this day, we still have when they um, they brought the Wii out. Remember the Wii? The, the Nintendo, Nintendo Wii, Wii was, yes, right? And then you had the Olympics and all that yeah, stuff. Very interactive, huh? Yeah. Dude, yeah. we did, my mom filmed us because we did like a Christmas round robin tournament with the brothers and everybody just going. Yeah. And and the the old wounds would come out. Ah, <laughs> ah, it was so funny because we're adults. We were uh, laughing, but it was still like nobody wanted to lose. Yo, nobody wanted yeah, to lose. Yeah, the competitor in you, with, especially uh, man, with, but, with family. Yeah, yeah, just with family. Yeah, the rest yeah. I don't like. Yeah, I'm not yeah. like, we're, we're, just like Olivier, my son, used to, when, he, when he used to come to school, he goes, Dad, you're not aggressive enough. I go, ah. I'm good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not it's yeah. not it's not me. Yeah, man. You know? It's not for everybody, man. Yeah, it's yeah, not it's for everybody. I'm good. What about Super Mario Brothers three? Yeah. Okay, you play that. The the original two with the vegetables, which was, was such a weird game, yeah. and then three with the uh, that's the raccoon suit and all that stuff. Of course. Grew up on it. My mom had to hide the cable. Like she would take it out so we couldn't play. We were playing too yeah. much. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we were playing too much. Crazy, oh, crazy. yeah, 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 yeah. All these games, man. The ice hockey. Um, um, but Blades of Steel, Steel was, 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 but wasn't that Nintendo? That was Nintendo. Yeah, it yeah, yeah. Super Nintendo. No, that was Nintendo because you had the, the fat guys, it's the skinny Steel, guys, and then the middle. Middle. It was, it was, <laughs> that shit wouldn't fly today. <laughs> that was, <laughs> that shit wouldn't yeah, fly that's today. Right, I could say that. <laughs> today? <laughs> Nothing flies today. Nothing. Zero. Because that's the way you used to say it. Hey, je prends les gros. Moi, je me fais un team de gros. 100%. And the big, the big guys were slow. Yeah. The small guys were super fast, but as soon as you touched them, touch. they would fall. Yes. This was insane. Yeah. Okay, what about Mike Tyson punch out? Awesome. Holy That smokes. was one of the... That was like, uh, for me, that was... It was almost like the arcade was in your house. Because yeah. it was like beautiful, you go, yeah. Oh, yeah. and it was tough, man. Man, to get the mic, to get the it mic, it was and, tough to get the mic, and then we get the <laughs> mic, you get, get knocked, you get out. destroyed, you get one point. I, know, I don't, I don't think I've ever beat him. No, I, never, I, I don't think I ever. Beat, I don't. I don't remember I beating beat Mike. Mike. I never beat. Mike. I think it was a, a victory just to get the. Yeah. You get the. You get Mike Tyson. You, 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 Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike, Mike Tyson. Iron Mike Tyson. <laughs> man, you know. I, I hope. I, I hope. I hope he's not. I hope this never gets to him, man. Yo. You know how many times I did Mike Tyson invitations to my friends? And really? Stuff? Oh yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm the most ruthless. No, listen, I'm gonna stop. I'm sorry. No, I'll do it now. It's perfect. I think he's got what. What I like about him now, as he's older, he's much wiser. He's got so much wisdom. Yeah, he's much wiser, I, and 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 he's because I respected the fact that he was really good, but I really didn't like the guy. Hmm. You know, remember, like when he was fighting, it was like, "What the fuck is going on? This man is not well," you know. Yeah. And now, just to hear him, and and it's like, oh, okay. And you know, he, he had a tough life also. His daughter, when daughter died, oh, and stuff. You know, shit like yeah, that that you even, never like. He, as a parent, yeah. I never want to. Yeah. I don't want to go through that. He, he, even before that, like 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 he's he was by his abused. upbringing. Yeah, yeah, upbringing. exactly. He was abused as a kid, exactly. abused as a kid, and all that stuff. It was a tough, tough upbringing, man. Tough life. So that's why. 
you know, it's easy for people to judge from the yeah. outside. Uh, why is he so angry? Why is he so this, that? Listen, man, we don't know what this guy went through or goes through every day. And even today, even though we like him and he's so wise, maybe there's still some some, there, some stuff David, going if you, on. David, you know? if, you, if you watch his podcast or his stuff, once yeah. in a while, he'll start staring. Yeah. People get uncomfortable as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I you, would. You, you, you I know, would. You know what? I would go Mike Tyson. Mike. You, you guys go, you guys watch <laughs> Mike Tyson's hot, uh, hot boxing podcast. Yeah. And at some point, in a few conversations, you'll see someone, he'll say something and then someone will laugh. No, no, it's not funny. It's not funny. I'm serious. And then the person like, <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm telling you, man, <laughs> like know. a few times I saw it, Mike Tyson just well, telling the person like, yeah. no, no, you're not supposed to be laughing right now. I'm serious. This is a serious moment and I'm armed Mike Tyson <laughs> and I'm going to fuck you up if you keep laughing. <laughs> man, I love Mike. Would love to meet him. Never met Mike, but uh, yeah, yeah, just just so much wisdom, man, with with this fighting career, the ups and downs and the the... You know, the, the people turning their backs on him and then coming b back around. Oh, we love you, Mike. We love you. And then loses the title, loses everything, and then people just whoo, vanish. But you lived that. Not, lived, you know, I, I mean, being uh, like yeah. being on top, being the man, and then being the man. Then being, being the results the, that you yeah. everyone wanted didn't happen. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Being the flavor of the month. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, whoop, not reaching my uh, quote unquote potential as yeah, a yeah, fighter. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I've lived it. And uh, I don't know, man. At first, it was so hard and depressive. And but man, it gave me so much wisdom. I learned so much about life, about myself, about people. You know, it's it's uh, it's one of the best things that happened to me. Mm -hmm. Which is as weird as it sounds, is not being as successful as I wanted to be as a fighter. Mm -hmm. Man, there's a lot of stuff I would not know. And a lot of fighters that are successful, that are this and that, they don't know what I know. You know, they're not. They might know it, but it's like in and out, and they live in delusional. They live in delusion. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's um, it's important to be aware that it's 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 a uh, this status as a fighter. It's 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 people like the fighter. They don't like you necessarily you know they like the persona they like that that person that's out there winning fighting and winning but you you as a person not too many people really actually know you yeah first of all know you and appreciate who you are you know besides you know you close friends your immediate family you know it's who calls you who calls you who hangs out with you after a few losses in a row you know after you and it's not even it's not even fighting it's just just acting just you uh, a movie doesn't go well or there's a there's a flop or 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 or, or you're an artist or you don't live up to your potential a, a, exactly 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 you, you gotta stick to the people that are there when it's raining or when it's sun is shining you know yeah man because it changes and it's it's such a it's, it's like a a temporary identity yeah anyway yeah. you know yeah. it's, it's it's just something yeah. you did yeah at the end of the it wasn't day you yeah. exactly it's, just, it's something you it's did something i did you know beautiful it's something i did it's not who i was and you were very good at it yeah yeah but thank you then you had to, well <laughs> i didn't you know it, it, when i said earlier that i went to the gym because it was you mm. I, I went to that gym because it was you yeah you yeah. know i used to buy the goddamn pay-per-views and if i didn't buy the pay-per-views i used to wait and go to hmv to buy the dvds Fuck. see people don't even know it. i bought the dvds i H was waiting to H buy H the dvds wow. ufc david okay yes yeah, 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 yeah. you know because i because i enjoyed it I, I always thought i know it's weird for some people i just i just always found it beautiful yeah, you know, yeah, there, there's, 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 a, there's a beauty there. Yeah, it's it's rough, and yes, but man, there's some moments. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's yeah. so beautiful. The amount of work that is put in before just stepping into the cage, I think, is underrated. It's is underrated because it's man, also underpaid. <laughs> oh yeah, underpaid is is. You know, even even, ah. even till today, I mean, I don't think look the look look what's. I'm cutting you off, but look how, what 
how awesome it's getting for me. Look at what Francis is doing. He's going to go fight Tyson Fury. Yeah. Like guys and girls are out there now making a good living because they know it, you know, the, the, window, the window is the so window, small. The window is small. It's the so win- small. The window is small. And um, and Gano, you got to give him respect for, for you know, sticking to his guns and, 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 and doing what he's doing. You know, I have tremendous respect for him. It's not an easy thing. And, and he's going... He's going to fight Tyson Fury. Um, it's going to be very tough. Oh, it's going to suck. It's, it's going to suck for him. Like, like <laughs> no matter gonna, what people think, oh, he's a, he's a big yeah, 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 it's, yeah. It's, it's a completely different sport. Yeah. I've boxed for many years with pro boxers. It's not the same. It's not the same, man. It's different. And Tyson Fury is so good. Mm. Jesus. Like he's the best. This heavyweight fighter is... is this giant. Yeah, a giant that moves like a light heavyweight, man. He moves like a middleweight. What? You see him against the ropes and now the, the feints. He's, man, he's good, man. He's good, you know. I think he beats uh, all the heavyweights today. Uh, he beats Uzik. He beats Joshua. He beats... He, he beat Deontay. Well, b- people you know? forget. Like sometimes they go, "Oh yeah, but Deontay." So I think you forgot that Deontay had an almost a hundred percent KO rate. Like that's 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 like, okay, Mike Tyson. No, 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 no. This is beyond. Yeah. This is beyond. That was, it was it was it was it was almost nonsense. It was incredible. I yeah. heard De- Deontay Wilder walks around two hundred and ten pounds. Yeah, two twelve. Last last fight he was two twelve. Two twelve, heavyweight, destroying people. It's crazy, man. Destroying. So the amount of power there. Hey, mate, let's get back to that because that's something I think we've never discussed because you had to spar with boxers, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So how how do you deal with that knowing that you do a completely different sport, but you still got to step in there to learn, to learn kind of that side of the... It was... It was just something I had to do. Yeah. You know, I was... I, was, um, I wanted to be comfortable when... You know, when I fought, when MMA guys, you know, threw punches at me and stuff like that, I didn't, because uh, I came from a taekwondo and kickboxing background, so I wanted, I want my hands to be up to par. You know, I want my hands to, to be sharp. So, I went to uh, Club de Boxe Champion back in, in, it was 2000. It was Otis Grant and Otis and Howard Grant were well. Otis was was training. He was still fighting. He was uh he was making his comeback. And um, Howard was coaching, and, and, and man, I met Howard the first day. Man, I'm like, man, this guy is so funny. It was, he, he's such a character. If you have, you should have Howard Grant here. Yeah, man, <laughs> I've never met Howard. I met Otis the other day. He's but such I, a I, character, I man. You know, I would train with the Grant brothers at Club Box Champion, and then after practice, I would I wouldn't have practice till seven o'clock. I would train twice a day, so I would box with them in the morning, and then. I would go to TriStar Gym around six or seven o'clock. So I would spend like four or five hours every day with Howard and Otis. And, and man, the jokes, like I would laugh <laughs> all day. I would, <laughs> I would get to TriStar in such a good mood. <laughs> man, we would laugh, laugh. So, 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 many, so many stories, man, they would tell me and then they would share their, their wisdom with me, you know, and, and, and great mentors, great guys. So yeah, back to boxing. Yeah, I, I had to box with boxers. You know, I'm, I'm, I had to get comfortable. Did they, did they take care of you a little bit, or, or was it? Because I don't know. It depends on the like. Because this is what early two thousands. Yeah, I remember late nineties, early two thousands. Yeah, I guess, they, you know? they, they, they respected me. They, yeah, they, yeah, okay. they respected me. I would spar with a lot of, a lot of the guys that were there. I remember first sparring with the uh, former world champion Joachim Alcin. You remember? Yeah, I remember so, him. So, so so yeah, so I spar with him. And I'm like, yeah, man, I'm fast. Because I had fast hands. I've always had fast hands. But fast hands don't mean nothing <laughs> if you don't have the timing, if you don't know boxing. So I'm so like this. I'm just, yeah. I, I started going. Ta, 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 ta. You know, like his jab, I couldn't see his jab coming. So it was like this. Man, I, it freaked me out. It was, it was like a revelation. I'm like, oh, I suck. <laughs> oh, all right. There's work to do, homie. I thought it was good. There's work to do, homie. You know, and and he was like half my size, but he was he was tall and lanky. Very very, he was world champion. You yep. know, back then he wasn't world champion yet because it was 
early 2000s, but he became world champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Afterwards, he was flown out to California to spar with uh, Fernando Vargas, and, and he, he was a legit boxer. And that was one of the first guys I, I put the gloves with, and man, it was, it was, it was funny. My re my reaction when I got my ass whooped in any sport was like, <laughs> all right, let's go, let's go yeah. again. Every time I got my ass whooped, it motivated you, know? you to get yeah. better. Wow. Yeah, man. My first jujitsu lesson was um, it, it was a TriStar. Angelo Extra Hackles was the coach. Yeah, shout and, out to and, that man. What a yeah. good man. Yeah, a good man. man. Yeah, man. And um, he put me with David Gigi. He has a school now in uh, Gracie Laval. Baja in Laval. So first round, we do technique. I'm like, oh, I'm pretty athletic. I'm an athletic guy. You know, I played football when I was younger. I played soccer. So I go, I'm like, oh, Gigi, man, this guy weighs about 150 pounds. <laughs> I'm about to smack this guy around left and right. I put him on his back. Next thing I know, man, he's lucky. He's lucky. <laughs> I go again. Same thing. He caught me in like two or three triangles and arm bars. After class, I'm like, yo, I'm coming back here every day. You know, it's, it's, uh, and then the journey started from there. And it was, it was, uh, shout out to him, to David Gigi, man. It's, uh, he was, he was at the gym yesterday. Came oh, by. was he? Yeah. yeah he came, came by, by yesterday. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, it was, it's, uh, you got to get comfortable with, 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 as bad as it sounds, with getting your ass whooped. You know, whenever it's tough, if there's no, if it's not tough, there's not going to be any progress. You know, like you, you have to stick to it. You know, it's uh, if it's too easy, there won't be any progress. There won't be any evolution. You know, you gotta you gotta tough it out, tough it out. Just train and grind and keep trying, keep going forward. You know, that's the good thing about martial arts, though, is that, like you said earlier, it's, ah, yeah, I'm pretty athletic. I'm this. I'm that. And then you go with people who actually know what they're doing, yeah. and you go. Oh my God! I was a legend in my own mind. In my own, I, mind. I, I, I suck. There's nothing I can do. Yeah. See, like I kind of knew. I go, well, of course I know nothing. But then getting destroyed by you all, all those years, I was like, fuck. But you go, all right. Next time, okay, the, the one less arm bar. Yeah, that's all I exactly. want. I want one less, and then exactly. all the way to no more arm bars. Exactly. No more. I'm, I'm done with getting arm bar. And it yeah. was something yeah. else. Come on, this, that, fine. Yeah. Yeah. I'll deal with. It. I'll deal exactly. with that problem now. You know, it's you know? all about these short-term goals, these micro missions, you know, like these little missions. Okay, okay, listen, let's, let's not get armbarred today. Let's not get mounted today. Let's not, you know, I apply that to my life, yeah. to my everyday life, you know. I tell my students all the time, just um, have these these micro, you need to get these little victories, these micro micro victories, you know, like, like okay, today I'm going to have a cold shower. I'm going to have a... Uh, I'm going to fast for X amount of hours, and I'm going to do 30 minutes of cardio. So, boom, you get your cold shower. Okay, you get your cardio. That's a, that's a win. Another win. Mm -hmm. Another win. So, you get out of your house, and you have, you know, a few wins already. It affects your mental. It affects your mind. You walk out of your house. You have your chest out because you, you're a winner already. You started winning. You started the day by winning. That's how... That's how I live my life, you know. I gotta have a few wins before I get out of my house. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty good. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Because these wins, these little wins, they compound, man. They compound. It it adds up. It adds up. And at the end of the day, when you look at yourself in the mirror, you know if you cheated. You know if you if 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 you skip that 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 run that cardio session. It's all. It's not bad if you don't do them. But if you said on Wednesday I'm gonna do. That's how I am. I'm, I'm very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If if I say on Wednesday I'm gonna run for an hour, man, rain, snow, whatever it is, man, it has to be done. If it's not done, I'm not gonna sleep well. I swear, nobody knows. Nobody knows about it. It's me in my head. I'm not gonna sleep well. It has to be done, man. What are you doing? It has to be done. Because yeah, at the end of the day, it's you and you with that mirror. You know, you and you with that mirror. What do you think, LP? <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting all intense. I now. love it. Dude, I'm getting all it's intense. It's so cool. You know why I'm getting all intense? Because, you know, I, I truly believe that if if that mindset was um, was in me, like like for for like a little earlier in my fighting career, I think I'd be a different person, a different athlete. You know, so 
So yeah, <laughs> sometimes I'm like, man, man. Don't I, dwell on that. I, that, I, that would I, be my. Yeah. I, I I know. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I know. I should because dwell. you know why. You know why? why? Yeah, because the reason that didn't happen is because it couldn't happen. It could not happen. And the only thing that happened is what happened. I know it's kind of, eh, but yeah, yeah. It could only happen one way, and that's the way it happened. Yeah. So yeah. the beauty is is that all this wisdom and knowledge you have now. Yeah. You're applying it now. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure you're more... I didn't know you 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. I've known you for 10 years, almost. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you're not the same guy. <sighs> My God. You know? Like, you're not the same guy. And you're... you're, you're, you're like, the laughs we have at the gym, the, the... We're still working hard. We're still doing, you know? Yeah. But it's pleasant. It's fun. I don't know if that was the day if I had met him 20 years ago. Or 25 years ago, you know what I mean? For sure, I would laugh less back then because I was I was on a mission, man. I wanted yeah. to fight. I wanted to win. And and the only thing I cared about, and that was from from being a teenager, myself and Yves the Tiger Jabouin. Yeah. Yves Jabouin. Shout out to him. A childhood friend. We met at nine years old at uh, Karate Plus. It's a school in um uh, in uh, in the east end of Montreal. I don't know if it's still open, Karate Plus. The sensei was uh, Alain Belil. Um, so we met there. We started training. All we cared about was when's the next tournament. We were looking for fights, organized fights. Yeah, yeah. We never fought in the streets. We never did that stuff. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, there's a tournament over there. Nah, nah. Like 10 years old talking about fights. Like, yeah, yeah, okay, I'm going to fight this way. Well, I, well, I'm doing Taekwondo uh, over there. We're going. I'm going to Granby. There's a Taekwondo tournament there. Nah, nah. It's, it was all about fights till, till I opened my school. Till I opened my school in 2014, I was looking for the next fight. That's all I cared about, you know. And, and, and I, man, I neglected a lot of stuff, family stuff, friends. I missed birthday parties, weddings. Everything was about the next fight, you know. And it was an obsession. Um it was, a, but but the reason why I made it that far, the reason why I became UFC number one contender, the reason why I was the first French Canadian to fight in the UFC is because I was committed. You know, I was committed to my craft, a hundred percent. You know, made a lot of mistakes, but man, I was the first one in the city to do that stuff. So it, it was, it was. I had no guy. Um, like today, someone there's no also, role model. There's there no, no there was no one there. there, there was no You're the blueprint. first guy. There's yeah, no yeah, blueprint yeah. to get to UFC. Yeah, yeah. No one has a blue, had a blueprint, blueprint to get to UFC. Today, you, there's myself, Patrick Cote, Georges Saint Pierre. You know, uh, a f there's a few guys. You know, Yves Jabouin, he made it to UFC. Uh, Ivan Menjivar. Menjivar yeah. there, 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 there's a few. There's a few fighters that made it. Yeah. Now you could go call any of us, David. What do you think? I should do if I want to make it to the UFC. Listen, you should do this, 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 and that. Because I did it. I didn't have access to that back then. I had access to great boxers like like um like like Otis Grant, you know, like like I would ask him, okay, well, what do you how do you cut weight? How do you do this? I had some great guys that gave me advice, but how to make it to the you know top of the food chain in MMA, it was tough. And it was a dark, the, those were the dark years of the sport, man. Man, man, you, hey, the combat cock, the combat barbare, people were talking mad ah. shit about us, man. They were like, ah, the combat de russe, the combat de the combat de russe, it's not a real sport. So basically, in French, they were saying, oh, those, those are street fights, it's not a real sport. These guys are not real athletes. But, but I would hear so many things about, about us. You know, but things changed when George won the title in um, in the UFC. It changed when he won the title in the UFC, and it changed even more when he lost when he won back the title against Matt against Montreal. Matt Serra in Montreal. Yeah. When George walked out to fight Matt Serra in Montreal, I was um, I was walking behind him. If you watch the video, you see it. I'm wearing <laughs> a suit, all fresh. You know. I was under the corner, but I was part of the entourage. <laughs> been been with George for years. So he walks out, and the crowd, I've never, I've been to many events. I've never heard a crowd like that. It was insane. I was like, man, this is crazy, the energy. I'm like, I was like, 
George is gonna whoop this guy's ass. It, it was it was it was so intense. It was so intense. The the energy when he walked out, and George was just like pumped. You know, sometimes I I've always felt some kind of nerves. I looked at George right before he walked out the cage because he shakes hands with all the coaches and all the the entourage, and then he shook my hand. He's like like super hard and he held me hard. I'm like, man, somebody's in trouble. <laughs> I'm like Mads in trouble, man. Like, like he was, he was on that night. Yeah. George was on. You know, there's nights that you can't get. Some nights are your nights. Yep. You know, that, and that that's one of night. the big things about fighting. Also, is that there are nights, things are not going your way. There's nights you don't show up. You know, there's nights. You know, there's they say a bad day at the office, and a regular job is is a bad day at the office. In the octagon, it might be a broken leg. Might be a broken uh, arm, might be a concussion. You know what I'm saying? So, the, it's, I think mixed martial arts is the toughest sport. You know, the toughest sport. If there's a tougher sport than that, I don't know which one it is, but to my opinion, you know, don't start in the comments. Well, you know, yeah, yeah. leave me alone. Leave me alone, man. You know, um, I think it's the toughest sport in the world, and um, and just to make it in that sport, it's, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's tough. But I love it, I love it, man, I love it. And man, yeah, back to back to George, man. This guy's dedication and, and commitment to the sport, second to none. Um, I believe you know he's a UFC Hall of Famer. This and that. I don't know something. I believe he's underappreciated still. I think I think what he's done for the sport, the way he conducted himself as a fighter. The, I think he was one of the greatest ambassadors. Man, for, on, at, man. at that time, yeah. you know, because the '90s was uh, tournaments, and then yeah. at the end of the '90s, whoop, starts to change more. But there was just one class; it was just big heavyweights. Yeah. And then 2000s, and all, it's starting to have weight classes, weight and class. then it started to get organized as yeah. a legitimate sport. Yeah. And then boom, you come in. Too, and then George comes in, and then he becomes champ, and then yeah. he could, yeah. he could represent. You could put his picture, yeah, and it went, oh, he looks like a normal dude, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. athletic and everything, but he didn't look like a deranged, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> so I think man. he was he was a great, great ambassador, and and I'm I'm, since he's going back to just to grappling, yeah, because he's going to be grappling uh, Damian Maya, yeah, that's official, this, yeah. yeah, well, that's what I saw. That's what I saw in December. That's well, pretty cool. No gi, I hope. I think so. I, I don't think it. Because at Fight Pass, it's all no gi. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah. UFC Fight yeah. Pass, it's all no gi, and all the best are there. Yeah. So um, you should throw yeah. your name out there, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Know, grappling. It's just grappling. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> for me, it was so hard for me to, um, <laughs> to, to move on to the next chapter of my life yeah. and stop thinking about competing. That I did, but now I keep hearing people, man, ah, bro, you should go, uh, you should go, and you know, put your name out there and do some grappling, jujitsu. I, I, I grapple every day. I'm in, I'm in tremendous shape. <laughs> um, um, yeah, man, I'm just for sure. I'd be, I'd be down, but it have to be the the right thing, the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not gonna take time to you know do a training camp for for for. For, uh, but when, for, 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 when, 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 for, when, for, when, for, when, for, when, for, when, 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 because that that's another kind of crowd, but it's still kind of fighting crowd. So there's people you know, Rashad, na na na. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And uh, how is that? It's it's interesting. Well, I, I've been around boxers and pro boxers and boxing fights for a long time. You know, I used to I used to go watch all the guys from the Grand Brothers. I used to the pros that used to be there. You know, Erman and Gujo, um, um, Joachim Alcid and Otis Grant. So I was always I'm very familiar with the boxing crowd. You know, like like the the, the, the events from uh, Yvon Michel, I've been to so many of them. Yeah. At the Bell Center, at the Casino, uh, Lucha and Bute, I watched them fight live. Uh, Jean Pascal, obviously. Um, yeah. So so yeah, when I was there, it was it was it was just 
pro boxing, man. It was just pro boxing. I watched Floyd fight when once in Vegas when he was fighting. I went when he fought Victor Ortiz. Okay. When he fought Victor Ortiz, I was there at the MGM. It was it was intense. There was you know some controversy at the end the way he the way he beat him because Ortiz was getting beat up and then he headbutted Floyd, and then and then the ref brings them together. He's like, ah, stop that stuff, and then Ortiz goes to grab to hug Floyd. Floyd catches him with a left hook, and anyways, it was it was it was a mess. Protect yourselves at, at all, all times. times. At all times. <laughs> yeah, man, it, 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 it was cool. Cool experience to. To see Floyd, um, to watch Floyd up close, you know, and uh, it was dope, man. Yeah. Tell me about Poulet Bronze, because this. <laughs> I always went. I almost went into a coma when you <laughs> you took you me something. there. It was so good. It was so you good. Know, this is a this, great fried chicken place in Montreal. This, Poulet Bronze. Hey, you, you talk about <laughs> stereotypes, man. You guys don't start. Don't don't start making fun of me, okay? Because I brought my my white friend here to a fried chicken place, okay? It's called Poulet Bronze. It's in Montreal. Man, let me tell you something about this fried chicken, man. It's spicy. It's 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 amazing, and it's uh, it's halal. You know, it's uh, you know, the owner is a Muslim, and uh, it, it it was, man. I mean, you tell me how it is, man. I, but, I, I but, loved but, but it. And, and Usain, you know, Usain brought us there. Was first. it Usain? He brought me there. Brought, and then okay, I brought okay, you. yeah, yeah. Because Usain, I didn't know. Okay, Usain, okay. Usain is one of my students, uh, a good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. He brought me there. I'm eating. As I'm eating, I'm like, hey, hey, bro, bro, this is too bon, ça. Because he brought some to the gym. He brought. He, that's what happened. Okay. He brought some to the gym, and then I'm, as I'm eating, I'm like, c'est où ça, c'est où ça. <laughs> Like I became like like just like obsessed with it, and and at some point I ate it like two or three times a week for like a month. What? Yeah, I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah. I, I did that, and then I start f not feeling too good, you know. And then I started did that for a month. It was a, in 2014 or 15, and uh, nah, man, nah, you can't have that much fried chicken. No matter how black you are, how much you like that chicken, man, you can't have. Two or three, four <laughs> times a week. Some, that much fried chicken, man. <laughs> man, it was yeah. it was good. I haven't been in a long time. I haven't. Yeah, I've been in a very long time. I haven't been in a long time. Very long I, I check. I check what I eat now, man. It, it, it's not. It's it's it, it's a few years now. Um, after like like after I opened my school, maybe it, it was 2014. Maybe in 2000 since 2015. 15, yeah, about 15, I started being very, very disciplined with what I eat, what I put in my body. Um, fasting, I fast every day. Every day? Yeah, every day. I fast every day. How a minimum, long? What, what's a, your... a minimum of 16 hours. You do 16? Okay. 16, yeah. Usually I do 18. Um, it works so for me. So it's one meal? You, you, is no, it... I know. I have, uh, I have You'll have for two meals. You'll I have, have two like, meals? Okay. I break my fast with, a, with, with protein. Yeah. And some fats, and then and then I have a second meal uh, later. Okay, but it's 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 what works for me. That's the thing about these fast people that fast, the ketos, the this, the vegans, the this, the that, the the carnivores. Well, try everything and do what works for you. Yeah, you gotta find what works for you. Man, fasting works for me, man. You know, I I went and do my blood work. Doctors like, okay, uh, so what are you taking? I'm like, yeah, I take a uh, fish oil. Is like. No, but I'm talking about like uh, testosterone. I'm like, no, I don't take anything. He's like, David, you're 43 years old and you have the testosterone of a 20 year old. I'm like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I knew my testosterone was high. It's 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 it's, it's been like that, man. I, I fast. You're blessed. You're yeah, blessed. Yeah, I'm blessed. I didn't have that blessing. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. but it's, yeah, it's it's uh. Fish oils a lot. You yeah, know. yeah, but I mean, it is what it is. Like you just said, it's like the diet. You, you, yeah. we're all different. We're all the we're same, all, but we're all different. We're all, so we're then you got to find your yeah. own little cocktail of go. Oh, yeah. this works. And see, my testosterone was horseshit. Mm -hmm. I had the testosterone of a seventy-five-year-old. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's like oh, that's no fucking good. Exactly. So, so, that, so I had to supplement that, and it, then I went it, oh, exactly I'm back. That, that's why I'm not against supplementing. I'm yeah, I, yeah. Like, like people taking the testosterone replacement. Therapy, yeah, yeah. Uh, TRT, yep. TRT, right? Yep. So, 
I'm not against it if you're if you abuse it, yes. But if 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 your levels are low, come on, man, do it, do it, man. I, I'm not against it at all, at all. But I'm a not lot. competing. I'm not doing anything. I'm 50 years old. Exactly. I just want to live a great life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And I want to be able to continue doing the things I do, exactly. even though I haven't been at the gym for a while. But but because of work. But yeah, I want to be work. able to com yeah. continue to do that shit until yeah. I die. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. Not just kind of go. Oh well, I uh, can't do that anymore. Can't do this. Like, no, no. Yeah. You know, you can you can change your approach. You. Yeah. That's like uh, I think Don, John Donaher came out with some uh, DVDs and goes like just grappling for old guys. Oh yeah. Yeah. It, just breaking down what it is that that breaks down in like as you grow older for regular people, not you, you fuck, but um, like speed goes. <laughs> well, you. That's the thing. I grew up around professional athletes, David. Yeah. It's not the same. Mm. All right, mm. we're all human beings. We all yeah. have our things. Yeah. You know, I'm better at this. But fine. Yeah. But as far as physical performance, all these people I know who are who were or are professional athletes, there's something in their DNA, David, that separates them from me. I know my brothers were professional athletes. Mm. You know, they got paid to play sports. Yeah, couldn't pay. They wouldn't pay me to play any sport. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know, it, like, like there's something yeah. different there. And then, yeah, of course, you got to work at it, and that's not the, the the issue here. But there is that. So, like you, you're a professional athlete. So if you could, you're gonna start doing some other sport just for fun. There's something there. You, you talked about it when you said like by Eva when she was competing. Yeah, yeah. She she. There's something there about yeah. professional athletes physically and yeah. mentally. They go, oh, okay, it's a bit different. Yeah, like it, 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 there, there's really an edge, and there, there's a big difference. And it's not a, oh no, not me. No, we all have our our own our own things. But for professional athletes, when they play sports, yeah, yeah, even when they just kind of, you know, I played them um, with the the, the Canadians. Uh, they used to have in the summer. They, they used to play baseball. Okay. Right, so for charity, so the, the the Canadians would go there, and usually sometimes they go, oh, we're missing people, so you know they send in the clowns. They call yeah. like the actors, go, oh, I want to come. Sure. Some of these guys, yeah, and I'd be with 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 the Canadians and some at, at the time some retired expos and stuff like that. And the ball players would go, "Hey, if they would just put in a bit of a time, they could have played." Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, I there, get there's it. I get there, it. There, there's this thing with professional athletes that's going. Ah, I know I don't have it, so it's like, ah. you know, you know, one thing about um about that is um, if you tell me if you show me how to swing a baseball bat. Like I'll I'll learn it I'll learn it today but I'm gonna go home and practice. I know, because <laughs> yeah. because it's also like ego driven. Yeah, I don't like to look like an amateur at anything. So 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 yeah yeah man I I believe all these great athletes. You know, a lot of people all oh, no ego man. The best athletes I know all have big egos. I think it's you necessary to. to get you have to to a high level. You talked about it earlier. Yeah, the sacrifices you made was because you were you first. Yeah. Otherwise, there's no fucking way you would have made it to UFC. Yeah, no exactly. way. There's no way, David. No exactly. way. It was like, no, no, me first. This is this is my life. This is what I do yeah. because this is what I want. Yeah, exactly. But you're right. I didn't want to cut you off. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, man. Just um, I would learn how to swing the baseball yeah. bat. Yeah. Go home. Keep going. <laughs> visualize. Yeah. In my sleep. Wake up in the morning. Practice again. Then go to practice again, and then hit the baseball. Properly, like like if if and if I don't, I would freak, I would freak out. That's why it's like this man. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff I don't want to start doing again. Yeah. Because if I start training for a fight again, I don't know how well the school is going is going to do. Because mm. because because one thing about switching from being a pro fighter to a martial arts teacher to me, not to me, not to everybody, because there's. Coaches that fight and, and all respect to them, but to me, it's about my students. I'm in the serving business. I have to. I'm there to serve my students. Yeah. You know, everything I do is for them. If I ex if I learn a new arm bar, I'd excel jujitsu with, with with my sensei. It's it's for me, but it's, it's it's to teach them. You know what I mean? Like like if I do research online and blah blah blah, and I, I find some cool stuff, it's for my students. Everything is about. My students is about my school, making my school better. That's why, if if I get offered a fight, an offer I can't refuse or something, man, the school is gonna suffer a hundred percent because 
because I'm that dedicated at the school. You see me at the school. Yeah. You see me at the school. It's 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 not. I'm not on my phone. I'm not doing. I'm at the school, man. I'm present. No matter the the commitment. No matter how my day is going. You walk in the gym. LP Dynamite. Yeah, man. Why I say, man? <laughs> Chris, what's up, man? Hey, caballero. Hey. No matter how my day is going, it's my mission. It's my duty to be to greet my my students and make them feel good about themselves. And when they walk out of there, they feel better than when they walked in. You know, this is my job. This I'm not telling people that own schools to be like me, but I'm telling that's how I am, and I take this very seriously. I cannot. To me, I'm like I cannot afford to just be an average coach. I got to be excellent. I have to be excellent. You know, and and yeah. Sorry. <laughs> why, why are you, why are you I just, sorry? No, I went on a, on a rant. But know, it's okay. It, it, it's, it's good, it's, man. It's a, it's a good rant. To, to, it's a good rant. To, to, to so, me, it's important. Okay. So what would you say? It's been, what, two, 14 or 23. So it's been nine years. Yeah, it's going to be nine years in December. Oh, yeah. There you go. So what would you say are some, a couple of keys that you, um, how have you changed like as a person being a coach and being an owner of a, a, a school because all of a sudden now you're teaching people yeah right it's yeah. very different than when you, you, you're fighting or doing this thing you go yeah yeah you're teaching you know, great but then yeah like i said it's not about me anymore you know it's, it's about it's about my students it's whatever whatever fighting the being a professional fighter is a very selfish life it's about you, 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 you. That's all it's about. It's about you getting better, you winning fights and making more money. Um, it's it's about you, right? It's it's because because it's it's such a brutal sport that you cannot afford to be always there for everyone. You got to look out for your ass, for yourself, you know. So when it comes to the school, that's the switch. It's like it's it's a it's a one eighty. You know, I've said in in a, in a podcast before. You know, like when I was competing and fighting, I was looking and researching and asking people how to how to break people down. And now I'm doing the opposite. I'm looking for ways to build people up. You know, it's a completely different mission, man. I I want to lift people up positively with martial arts. You know, um, no, I don't care if you become a great fighter. You know, I just want you to learn the martial arts and and the my philosophy which is to be a good person to be to, to be happy and respectful respect others you know always show love always show gratitude um that's that's what i'm about and that's what i want to pass on to my students that's my goal and um it was hard for me to get to where i'm at today that's why it's, that's why when you said oh you should throw your name out there i'm like this is a different David, man. This is a different David. I could go back. I could go back, but it's a different David. I'm not the same. I'm not when I'm when I'm about to fight and compete. How you doing? Yeah, I'm. I, I'm gonna ask you how are you doing, but I don't really care, bro. I care about the fight, the next fight. It's it sounds brutal. It sounds mean. It sounds cold, but I'm telling you what what fighters will not tell you. They don't give a damn about shit. But the next fight, you know. And now, now I'm I'm more of a human. How you doing? I really care about how you doing. How, how's the family? How's everything? I really care because I'm 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 interacting with 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 people. You know, I don't have I'm not on a mission. You know, to to beat the next guy and to be the the strongest guy. And no, I'm not on a mission anymore. I'm on a mission to make the world better. You know, with martial arts and that's that that was tough for me to do. <laughs> yeah. that, that was tough for me to. To the, become the transition, yeah, to transition, yes, yes, yes. Because you, you're such a fun guy, and you're a funny guy, and you're in the gym, incredibly extroverted. Yeah, but outside the gym, Jesus Christ, <laughs> you know. Just and look. I remember we had this conversation, uh -huh. you know, just going, you know, I'm going to do this to that, but it's going to go, Dave. Show me that, Dave. If you can, you know, because yeah. that's the one that, that come, as far as I'm concerned, that people really liked. And, and it's you. It's not like it's a, it's not an act. Yeah. I go, oh, this is what he's like. And then I see, I would see you on TV. Very reserved. Yeah. Very, 
like yes. like scared to make a mistake yes scared to make a mistake i think it, i think it has to do with my upbringing you know i was uh, i had you, you know my parents were 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 strict but fair mm -hmm. you know but i always never wanted to disappoint them mm -hmm. you know that, that i had a fear of disappointment with my, my my parents i never feared anything i was never beaten i was never physically abused nothing but they were so proud You know, I just didn't want to disappoint him. So I always conducted myself, you know, as a, like a gentleman, you know, because everybody in my family's educated, this and that. Everybody's got university diplomas. I'm the cage fighter. So, so, so I gotta, I gotta represent somehow with class, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was always very classy, very respectful. You see all these interviews. No, you see now in podcasts, I started being myself a little more. So I swear a little more, but, but I have no choice because I need, people to see the real me but you, you know you, it's like it's not even that it's you need to be the real you yeah yeah because then you're happy with yourself exactly exactly and Thank if you're you. happy with yourself then it it ripples yes yes you know exactly. it's, it's like anything it's like you know sometimes you, you hear people or, 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 or you see interviews or, or or just people talking going oh why is it when i'm in a relationship all these girls are after me and when i'm single uh, they all leave me alone yeah Because when you're in a relationship and you're happy, that's what fucking vibes out of you. People go, oh, well, looks like a fun guy or a fun girl, whatever. Exactly. And then if you're alone going, uh, and you go, oh, fuck yeah, this. Yeah, thirsty. Yeah, wait, wait, yeah, the fucking shark coming in. Yeah. Ah, exactly. Go away, go exactly. away, go away. Exactly. It's funny you say that, man, because I'm single. <laughs> and, um, and, um, and no, but. Why are you single, David? Listen, I, I'm, I'm single <laughs> by choice, man. By choice. I could, I could get my. I could, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, you know, I could get. I but, could, oh, but, but, okay, babe. I don't think we've ever really I, I, talked I'm, about this. I'm, I'm very, very, very picky because of um, um, just the life I've had. Um, but how was it when you used to fight? Because that. It was tough, man. It was tough. I had, I had a. Uh, most of my career, I had a. Uh, Half of my career, I was in a relationship. You okay. know, I, it was like a seven, eight year, and I fought for for fourteen, fifteen years. So yeah. it was it was about half, and it was um, it was uh, I mean, I didn't. There's no, there's no, um, there's no book that teaches you how to do that, how to be a pro fighter and a good boyfriend or husband. So yeah, I probably sucked at it. You know, I probably sucked at it because because. Uh, You know, there's a lot of compromises in relationships. That well, the thing made, I was going to say is the thing that's really hard, and it took me a few years to get it, but I got it a few years back where I went, okay, because I had kids, right? So I, I, it was always my kids are first, my career are second, and then if I have someone, she's got to be willing to take third. Yeah. That's harsh. Yeah, yeah. And it, it was harsh for me to come to deals with it, go, oh, fuck, yeah. Yeah. And then to... Actually, say they go look, yes, but this is this will never go away. Yeah, my yeah. kids will never go away. The job may be, but yeah. for right now, yeah. it's it's, yeah, it's just eat, right. But but not just that. It's not. It's a job I do because I actually like I enjoy it. Like yeah. it's something and it's something that I, I love to. I'm passionate about. Yeah. So that's what I'm I, I'm I'm wondering because if you're a fighter or you're a professional athlete, all these things are before. They come like your job will come before that training will come before Jesus. her. All yeah. all that stuff yeah. that in the beginning might be it's okay. Yeah. But then it'll come to a point where are you going? Well, I'm yeah. going back yeah. to the gym. Yeah. You go, why? Why don't we just uh, yeah. go to a restaurant yeah. or yeah. stay yeah. home? Yeah. 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 These are conversations that's gotta be tough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but it's um at the end of the day it's it's uh if it's meant to be, it's meant yeah, to yeah, be. Yeah. If it's not, it's not, you know. Um Yeah, you just got to be accountable for, for, for what I'm accountable for what I've done. Like I could talk about, you know, my, my, my ex or blood, whatever I did, whatever is in my control is, or my actions. So yeah. I gotta, I gotta just work on myself, become the best version of myself so that when the right lady shows up, <laughs> I'm like, Hey, <laughs> I'm ready. I've been working on myself, girl. <laughs> I've been I've been lifting weights. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, imagine I just work on my body. No, nah, man, you got to work on the mind. You got to work on the mind. You know, you know, accountability is 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 so powerful, man. You know, whatever happens to you, man, just just man, what I, what I do is I look in the mirror. 
It's your fault. What are you going to do about it? Oh, that's to me that starting to think like that changed my life, man. Yeah. It gives me it gave, it gave me my, my power back. It gave me my power back, man. Whatever it is, whenever some shit happens in my life, I go in front of the mirror and I do that before I go to sleep. Yeah, it's your fault. What you going to do about it, man? I'm telling you, I have goosebumps thinking about it because I because 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 it's it's a fact. Whatever, it's your fault. What are you gonna do about it? And then I'm like, then then when I go to sleep, I'm, I'm I have to find a solution, man. Because at the end of the day, every day, man, you always gotta look at yourself in the mirror. You gotta be accountable for your mistakes. You know, you can't blame nobody. Don't blame nobody. I've I, in the past, I've blamed people and situations and this and that, man. Accountability will change your life. That's the whole notion of extreme ownership and everything that, like, Jocko would talk about and Jordan Peterson and all these people. Oh, yeah, yeah. When did that come about? What? The, um, all this accountability, accountability. Because you said you, it wasn't always the case. Was o it... Op open it? Opening my school yeah. made me dig deep and start mm. researching. And, 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 and I learned so much about, about life when I opened the, my martial arts school. Learning, I had to learn how to teach. Oh, you're a great fighter. Yeah, man. But it doesn't mean that you could teach running a business. I had to learn to say no. I didn't know how to say no. Mm. As weird as that sounds. It's not I did, weird. I didn't know how to say no. Oh, uh, bro, uh, I'm going to come at your gym uh, with, with two of my friends at, at 3 p.m. I have a class at 3 p.m. I teach kids. I can't have people, you know, there's like... No, I can't. I had to say no. You before when I was when I was competing. Uh, okay, uh, okay. You know, it, it was it was so weird. You know, the transition to saying no and learning to say no to people helped me out with different things. Like, like saying no to people when it came to my gym, it helped me set boundaries with different people, with family members, with friends, with 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 just regular people. Setting boundaries, just you know, at the gym. Helped me set, set boundaries in my personal life. Mm. And that that helped a lot. Man, this is a crazy podcast, man. <laughs> Why? This is dope. <laughs> this is dope, man. I, I really hope we inspire some people, man. We, we, we get the word out, you know. Uh, yeah, man. This is dope. <laughs> One thing I want people to know that they don't know enough about you. You made an awesome short movie. Well, you made two, but you made one with uh, Barbeau. Patrick Barbeau, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, run me through it as if I don't know anything about it. From from what, when you had the idea to now it's done, and then we can tell people that they can watch it because it's on YouTube. So I'm in, I'm in L.A. at a fitness convention. So I meet some WWE wrestlers, like retired wrestlers. And, and um, so I talk to people about acting and all that stuff because... I did some acting in 2006. I wanted. To, I was in La Rage de Lange with Dan, yeah. directed by Dan, Dan Dicker, Dicker. So I had a role and and I felt so good in front of the camera. You enjoyed I, it, I, like I, you I, truly I, enjoyed I it. I enjoyed it. So I'm like, dude, it, it was so crazy because when the when the when the director would say action, I would feel this 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 freedom. I felt so good, and I'm like. Dude, I'd like to do that again, but that was 2006. Those were my prime years of fighting. So I'm like, you know what? I got some business to handle. So so I put it to the side. Because, man, the anxiety I would get when I fought was so heavy. And I'm like, man, I, I wish I would feel like that in front of, the, like the way I feel in front of the camera. I wish I would feel like that in the cage. But it didn't happen. So back to um to L.A. So I'm talking to these guys and they're like, yeah, you know, it's, it's tough to get to, to, to break through that world, you know. But but one way would be if you could create content, you know. If you create content, you could get you could get your name out there, you know. Just create some stuff. If you write, just write. So on the plane back home to Montreal, I wrote I wrote at least like 10, 10 to fifteen pages of a like a synopsis or a script. For, for for a Creed movie, you know? Because and at that time, there was only one. There was only one Creed. There was one Creed yeah, movie. There was yeah, a, yeah, yeah, just, just so that, yeah, that they were putting there was only one. people in context. But I, then I was like, man, I gotta, 
I don't, I don't look the part because it, it was, it was someone related to Clover Lang, Mr. T and Rocky Three, you know. So I'm like, I got, and I had no beard back then. So I'm like, man, I gotta, I got I gotta try to grow a beard. I gotta try. I gotta at least try. So I, mean, so I start. I'm, so I'm looking online how to grow a beard. Uh, like, like, so I'm looking at all these products and stuff. And I'm like, man, I don't want to use the products. I'm just gonna shave and see, see what happens. So. So I, just, so I shaved it. It would grow a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and then, and then it would itch. It would itch, and then Usain, I swear to God, Usain had a beard. Yeah. I'm like Usain, man, it itches too much, man. He's like, David, be a man. <laughs> <laughs> be a man and take take it. Just be a man and let it grow, even if it itches, and it's, it's gonna pass. That's so funny. Like man, <laughs> shout out to Usain. It was. It I love that Usain. guy. I miss that guy. Man, miss we him, had man. so much man. fun. Man. I hope he's super happy. You know, man. married man. and everything. Married and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I grow the beard. The beard grows. So I'm like, okay. So I, I, I start. Um, I st I took a few acting lessons, and then after that, what did I do? Um, just called Barbeau and said, listen, man, this might sound crazy, but um, I like to do this short film. Blah, 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 blah. What do you think? Bro, rah, rah, let's meet up. Rah, rah. We met up the same day. I told him the story. I told him everything. And then I just wanted to do it for me and then send it out to people, some people in L.A. And, it, and then we ended up releasing it because who knows, right? Who knows what happens? And the first one got 900,000 views and the second one got... 1.2 million views and it's uh is it on your channel like is it on it's, it's if on, i go on youtube what do i point what do i what do i punch david loiseau creed 3 david loiseau creed 3 yeah, yeah do yeah. yourself a yeah, yeah yeah a service go watch that man yeah 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 and i i would just um you know what i would do also is uh i would practice just i would just practice scenes on my own just deliberately like i would be man If there was a camera in my house, man, you'd be like, man, <laughs> be like, man, this guy is crazy. I would, I would do scenes, scenes like loud, out loud, and, uh, on my own, and sometimes in front of the mirror and look at my face and and just, you know, just practice, just practice the best I could, you know. And um, when it was time to shoot, you know, we rented the Grand Boxing, Grand Brothers Boxing Gym, and uh, and uh, we also rented another gym for the second one, Panda Boxing, at the old port. Yep, and uh, it was uh, man. I didn't expect it to to hit 1.2 million, and yeah, it was it was pretty cool, man. It's good. It's pretty cool. So I yeah. told you, it's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, when it's Thank good, you. it's good. Thank you, man. There's a lot of times we if you and you're an actor, so this is yeah, yeah. But this yeah. is this, hey, I'm certified, man. I'm certified. Click. LP Dynamite certified me. What you gonna say? What you gonna do? Well, you know, I'm not. I'm not big on praise when it's not deserved. Yeah. I'll just kind of go, hey, keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and 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 I and I mean it. Yeah. But but it was good. Yeah. You know? Thank you. Because usually when what what holds me up anyway is is uh, oh, it's not gonna be perfect. Mm. You know. Same. And, then, and then you don't do it. Yeah. It's like doing this. 100%. I went fuck. Oh, it's not gonna be. Oh, fuck it. Go. Yeah. Go. Just and yeah. we'll we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just really good. Yeah. It was Thank really you. good. Thank you. You man. need to do more. Thank you. Yes, 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 for sure. I do. I do. You're right. But you, but you, like you said, it's yeah. not going to be perfect. And that, that little voice, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that little voice is, um, yeah. man, you know, you got to put it back in its place sometimes because um, it, 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 if you don't, it, it gets louder and you, it's like, oh, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. You know, you start believing it. Yeah, because you start looking for, for the approval of that, 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 that asshole in your ear. You're, oh, yeah? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're right. But no. you, you know, I, I read this. I don't know if it's true or not recently, but I thought everyone had that little voice. Mm -hmm. Turns out, and if I don't, like, I'd have to find the, 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 the thing I, I, I read. It's like just half of the people have that. The other half don't. So if there's it, like four it, billion people that don't have that little voice. So what do they do? What kind of life do they I don't know. Have? They just don't have that. <laughs> they don't have that little no. voice? No. So and I don't know if it's true, but it's, it's an actual like report I was reading How going, what the hell? That voice. that voice, you know, one thing about that voice, though. Yeah. That voice saved my ass. Did it? 
Of course, man. It got me out of trouble many times. It got me out of trouble. It got me in shape. It got me. It, it, it got me to the championships. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, man. Take, take take a day off, man. Take a day off, bro. Take two days off, bro. Yeah, that's why you lost that fight. You remember that day? <laughs> Back to the gym. You know what I'm saying? Like these, that little voice sometimes will pump you up. Sometimes I listen to it. It gets me to put the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Everybody wants to see you fail, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, stay down, stay down, stay down. Like, what little... is that? You put something on Instagram uh, <laughs> about that, about failure. It's, I think it's Dave Chappelle. You just yeah. put that. I think yesterday or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the, cow uh, the cowards rejoice when they see a hero fall. Yeah, of course, of course, man. They love that. They love that, man, because they, they don't have the guts to do what you do. So they're like, man, come back here. Come back here with me because I'm, I'm really uncomfortable seeing you being the best version of yourself. And I'm here eating poutines and hot dogs. Come eat poutines and hot dogs. Don't go out there and, <laughs> and be the best version of yourself. That's what's going on, man. That's, a, that's what's going on. And that's why it's like, oh, you see, you tried so hard to be the best you could be, but look, you failed. ha, 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 ha. That's what happens. That's what that's what cowards do. That's what cowards do, and stay away from cowards. You know, you, you should have like a sixth sense and 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 sniff them out. You know, and then once you know who they are, I'm very, very, very specific with who I let in my life in my circle. This, I'm a when I, it's a dictatorship when it comes to that <laughs> shit. I'm like, I'm like I, I will cuff someone off like this and zero remorse like boom like to me if 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 you're if you're um if my mental health is suffering because of you i'm out if there's no negotiations there, there'll be some back and forth hey listen uh but if if it's not good for me it's not good for me and it's not personal is it don't take it personally it's just it is what it is man at the end of the day it's it's uh That's the that's the athlete in me. That's the perfectionist in me. That's the go getter in me that wants, I want, I want some kind of control in my life, you know. And 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 you know, that's what I do. You do the same, no? <laughs> oh, we're different, but but <laughs> you no, won't no, cut, but, but you won't not, cut someone off and, I, if they always bring you down and the, the energy's bad. The, I, those people aren't around me anymore. And you, you you but I had to at some point. Of course. It, and it's it's you know it's stages and you go oh, yeah, okay yeah, and and yeah. but but you, you need to have that's the one thing that everyone's different and we're all here to do what we're here to do but when you start to have some self reflection you know like you were saying at the, the end of every day you look at yourself in the mirror that's that's what it is just going yeah. what's going on here are we good are we good are yeah. we you know then you can start wait a minute then you can start to put boundaries and 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 yeah. You need to isolate yourself a little bit so you can, oh, I need to yeah, find what it is that I am and everything. But then you'll get to a point where it doesn't matter anymore mm. because those people don't want to stick around. Mm. It changes, you know? Interesting. They don't want to be around you because they're not happy around you. Interesting. Uh, you know what I mean? They, it, like, like, but, 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 it, but what you're doing is fine. You got to do it. You have to do yeah. it. It's like these steps of going, okay, tell me that. It's, you know, it's like uh, starting, okay, st stop giving. <laughs> stop giving. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> For people that don't know, you know, like, 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 LP used to get arm lock. I used to arm lock LP. I don't, by the way, I don't arm lock him at all anymore. Zero. Zero. Okay. He used to, I used to, um, this is weak. This is strong. Right now, You're laying your arms out too much. You're extending your arms. I'm, I'm, this arm lock city. I'm gonna arm lock you. So keep your right, keep keep your elbows in. Exactly. Keep your elbows in. Stuck to your ribs. But it's the same. And yeah. you'll get to a point where you'll leave it just because you're going. You know, please take it mm, <laughs> to create a to create a, yeah. a scramble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, so that's the thing. But you, but you have to because then. Because I see you, I see the, the transformation mm -hmm. over the years. Because mm -hmm. I'm not you, yeah. But I'm with you, yeah. And so I, I kind of go, and it's, it's, it's always fun to see, someone you love, mm -hmm. going. Oh, wait a minute, I need to, and then all of a sudden you kind of see the blossoming. You go, oh, look at that. But you know, it's about it's so also beautiful self awareness. Yeah. I'm aware that, you know, I'm very conscious that, 
I'm not perfect and there's improvement. Like I want to improve. Mm-hmm. I'm very hard on myself and and a lot of people are like, oh, I'm the shit. Uh, I'm not. I'm a tan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a tan. I'm a tan. I'm perfect. Man, if you're perfect, that means how can you improve? There's yeah. no there's no place yeah, for yeah. improvement. There's no place for improvement if you're a tan. Because uh, it's you know? it's for me it's like these two things that don't belong together that do where you're absolutely perfect but there's so much improvement at the same time. Mm-hmm. Like the perfect just means that you belong here. Yeah. You have business being here. Yeah. Yeah. And and you know to express who you are. At the same time uh, you get to work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, I mean yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. Yeah. you got to yeah, there's Otherwise, a version, there's there's always a better version of yourself, yeah. you know. So you could you always try to reach perfection, and then you'll never reach perfection, but you'll reach excellence by trying to get to the perfect place, you know. You'll reach excellence, and that's 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 my goal, man. I'm trying yeah. to be the best, the best, the perfect David. It's but sometimes you gotta take it easy. Absolutely, man. <laughs> Absolutely. Because I know you. Absolutely. I know you. Let me, let, let me <laughs> you guys, guys, hey, I'm, I'm, yeah, My it's, man. It's, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Sometimes yeah. sometimes I'm a little too much. Yeah. And I see it and, I'm, and I catch myself. I'm like, yo, Dave, calm down. Calm down, David. You know what? Today you're not fasting and you're going to have a poutine extra fromage. <laughs> S'il vous plaît. <laughs> I'm, I don't care. Sometimes I have to cheat, man. Put myself right back in the, in, in the mix, man. Bonjour, yeah. poutine extra fromage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cheeseburger, uh, ketchup and towel, Pepsi. Merci. <laughs> I don't care, man. Sometimes I'll go. But, I'll go for it. I'll go for my shit, man. It, it's important. The, the only thing that matters is that you enjoy that you're doing it. Yeah. Because if you're going and you're going, ah, yeah, yeah, no way. Then I'm what's the point? I'm what's it. the point? Oh, no, I'm you know, it. I enjoy that poutine. I go to five poutine. guys. I don't have your shape, but I go to five guys, and when I go, I go. Yeah, absolutely. Give me that. I want that. Oh. I want that burger with it. Yes, yeah. Yeah, and it's yeah. awesome. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. For sure. You just don't go every day. It, exactly. It's it's if eighty percent of the time you're doing the right thing, and that that little twenty percent or that ten percent once in a while, dude, do it, man. I'm like, that, that that's the thing. I'm not. I'm not. I'm hard on myself, but man, I let myself enjoy. You know, you know, I enjoy my junk food and enjoy, you know, I I'll go out to bars. I don't drink alcohol ever. Yeah. That's that's one thing. That's one thing that I'm very strict with, and I'm not. I'm just not interested in drinking. Which is fine. Yeah, 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 I'm not interested in drinking. There's no. The only time I've ever seen you pass out was from a burger. From a burger. Remember, remember that? Um, we we what? it was uh, a burger. It was uh, the the buns were um, uh, donuts. <laughs> Did you remember that? Yes, you yes. passed out. Jackson. Right? Yes. When it opened in downtown Montreal. It's not there anymore, I don't think. And yeah. It was we, on the South Shore. No, no, no. It's no. on the South Shore, but they opened one in Old downtown Montreal. Mont- you're and, right. In and Old that, Montreal. In yes. Old Montreal. And you I went, hey, yes, yes, come in. We yes. brought yes. two people from the gym. From like the we're, gym. We're, we're a couple of guys yes. and girls. Yes. And then yes. I got and, and then they had this this burger and the buns were uh um, donuts. donuts. Yeah, man. And they had a little bag of chips that came, like Doritos. I think it was just a little bag yeah. of Doritos that came with it. And yeah, yeah. I saw you go, yeah, I'm not. And all of a sudden. You... Yeah, I was like this. It was out. <laughs> I was chilling. I was going, I didn't you know you that well. Going, is he okay? I was, is he, is I, I, I was <laughs> zen. I was zen. Nobody could piss me off. I was zen, bro. Yeah, man. It was so what, funny. Yeah, man. You got to enjoy life. You got to enjoy this. <laughs> me, me, it's food, man. I'm, 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 I'm a food guy, you know. So so when it's when it's time to party, man, you got to bring bring in the pizza. The, 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 you know, you got to bring in the, the junk. That little junk that I don't have most of the time, well, bring it. Bring well, it. Well, that was the fun thing about the gym, too. It was the little barbecues. Yeah, we had barbecues. Like, yeah, 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 had barbecues yeah, on yeah, Saturday. That was yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then, and that's, the one, that's, an, that's another thing that... that I've not seen anywhere outside of gyms, and I will say martial arts gyms, where you have so many different cultures. Yeah. Like truly. Yeah. So you know you have the, the, some Jamaicans and then it's in, then there's Koreans and then the Chinese and then this Filipino and then Mexican and that. And then you do these things. Everyone yeah. brings something. It's like. Yeah, yeah, different. Cultures. Oh my God! What's the, what is this? Well, ah. yeah. so awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so awesome, and yeah. it's it's. Uh, and nobody cares. Nobody. Cares. Nobody cares. No. Where the cares. fuck you're from? No. 
you're just happy you're there and you want to learn yeah and everyone wants to get better is, is that and and i i've not seen I'm, I'm sure it exists elsewhere but i've not seen that in my life uh outside of of of, of these gyms mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for Isn't sure it funny yeah yeah martial arts it, it, it unites people in, in, in a weird way like like on, on like on a especially on a jujitsu mat like because if you're physically so close to the person to the people that you do technique or roll with that 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 there's a bond that's being made so it doesn't matter what religion you're from or or, or just just color or whatever whatever it is man it's just there's a bond man and there's no there's no race there's no nothing. it doesn't matter, it doesn't I, matter. That, that, it, that's the like i've I've never, there's never been an issue. I've never, nothing. No. And just good laughs. Yeah. Everyone pokes at each other and it's yeah. funny and it's yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. And, 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 and then you get the added bonus of, uh, like you were talking about you saying, I remember, it's, ah, we need to go to a good place for some shawarma. It goes, oh. Come on, allez, on s'en Chateau, Chateau, uh, oh, I don't oh, remember. Chateau, oh. keb chateau Kebab. Chateau Kebab. Chateau Kebab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would yeah, never yeah, have stopped there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? If it wasn't and then, for No, if it was right. for him. And he go, no, let's go. Uh, we're going to go out there, up, up, up. And then we're going to have our table there. And wait, wait, wait. They're going to send us this. No, no, put butter in the rice. Okay, chapeau. Go, hey, if you order hummus, uh, ask them for sliced. Uh, I, what? I didn't know you could do that. Yes, yes. Man. Dude, all these things. Yeah. I love these little ins. And then, then I would go by myself places. Hey, uh, je prends ça aussi. Yeah, they're like, they oh, look at you. If he knows, if, wait, he knows wait. if he knows, he's <laughs> yes. connected. Yes. He's, he's, he's one of us. Yeah, it's so funny because <laughs> they kind of go, eh? Tu veux le sens? Wait, wait. Yeah. They yeah. fall, okay. Then they just smile and they go, okay. Yeah, do yeah, you want yeah, something yeah. else? Yeah, man. But that's all through like martial arts schools. There's, you know, yeah. every sport is, you know, is, is cool and I'm not going to, but, but, but they, Especially jujitsu. You, you would, yeah, over I, like Muay Thai or, 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 or I don't know. I'm a, it's I, I, your thing. From what I've experienced in my life, like, yeah. like I've been to, like there's there's a lot more. I don't know, man. Jujitsu, jujitsu unites people differently than all the other sports. That 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 I know for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. from what I've seen, I've been to Muay Thai. Boxing, you know, different kickboxing, different gyms. It's different when you do jujitsu. It's different when you when you lock that up close, with someone. That close, that close up. When you close with someone for long, you know, it's it's a it's different. When did you fall in love with that? Because that's something that even to this day, when I'll talk to people and they go, oh, when you go, oh, David was oh yeah, the striker. I'd say, well, yeah, but he really, really loves jujitsu. He's like, no one knows. Yeah, I really, I fell in love with jujitsu when I started jujitsu. It's just that. I was um, I was very much a crowd pleaser. I when I fought, I really, I would read messages. I would read comments. So I it was would, the same thing with your parents. You didn't want to disappoint anybody. I did huh? not want to disappoint. <laughs> it's crazy. It's okay. I, I, I we did, all have our things. I, it's I, fine. I did not want to disappoint. But not only that, it's just I was so explosive and dynamic. Yeah. That I'm like, let's take advantage of that, you know, and then. This is where the spinning back kicks came and the elbows and this and that. The highlights. Yeah, it's yeah. a highlight reel, yeah. like your career is. But but people forget that to be able to take someone down and, and land these elbows on people, you need good jujitsu. You know what I'm saying? Like like I, I never I never got submitted in the UFC. Like I like I did I did my thing. You need to get it in the right position or else you could get in trouble like this, you know? So but but yeah, jujitsu is 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 man, I've been I've been obsessed with it since I started. It's just that I neglected it and for a long time uh, it was a big mistake that I made. I was training to defend jiu-jitsu. I was mostly on the defensive side mm. of jiu-jitsu. How to defend jiu-jitsu so I could keep striking, keep the fight standing or just land my strikes on the ground. I was never really offensive. I have maybe how many submissions I have in my career. One guillotine, one head and arm choke and one rear naked choke. Yeah, so I had three submissions in my whole career, you know. So it's it's it, 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 I was not that offensive. I could have been more offensive with my jujitsu, and um, yeah, I neglected it, and uh, but now it's behind me. No, I, no, no. But I'm just, I'm just it. it's just because you fell in love with it. But it was like because um, I remember we just when you know you opened your school and stuff, and 
for, for the striking classes, there's like it was packed. Yeah. Right. And come to jujitsu, there's like two of us. Yeah. There's yeah. me and shout out to Marc Antoine. Marc Antoine. Ice cold. Ice cold Marc Antoine. <laughs> and then when, Frank came. And then Frank came. So there's like, and then for a while, and it would, yeah, some people come and come. Well, now it's you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's expanded. But n n few people knew that you were like, yeah, like like you really enjoyed it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was it was uh it was cool. It was weird at the beginning, but man. I just see that journey, like 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 from from one two students to, man, there was there was thirty people on. I know, I on, saw on Wednesday. Yeah, there was so thirty cool, people man. in the class. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm doing something right. <laughs> I, I, well, I'm I'm. That's one thing that nobody can take away from me is my consistency. Yeah, my consistency is second to none, man. I'm at the gym. I'm putting in these hours. What do you think I, I took this from? What? Being oh. <laughs> here, they're being consistent. No, I'm not kidding, oh, David. Hey, man, respect, man. Thank you, man. <laughs> Just being, you go, go. Okay, whatever happens, I need to, I need to. I, one needs to come out every Friday. Yeah, nice. You nice. know, that's. But that's from you. That's the secret. That's like that's like, it's not a secret, but it's it's. If you look at everyone that's had success in anything, consistency, Just over and over and over again. You don't feel like it? Oh, you do it anyway. How many times do you think I didn't feel like teaching? I don't, if I'm in town, if I'm not, if I'm in the city of Montreal, it's impossible that I'm not teaching. I'm teaching, no matter what, no matter how I feel, no matter what's going on, I'm teaching. If I'm not teaching, if, if, being, if I'm being replaced, because I'm out of town. I'm out of the city, I'm teaching a seminar, you know, this and that. You know, or I'm just doing a training camp. You remember when I went to train with Rampage Jackson? Yep. I, I left, I left in 2007, I left for like two weeks. And I trained with Rampage. That was that was crazy, man. Crazy, crazy camp, man. It was fun. This guy's a beast, man. Strong, <laughs> strong. Jesus. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. How did, you, how did? Like, I know you still keep in touch with like. What what is the deal with you and Rashad Evans? Because yeah. you, you 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 when you speak of that man. There's you have a lot of respect for Rashad. There's, there's 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 a connection I have with Rashad. I don't know where it comes from. Is 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 it's just we trained together um, a few times back in 2000. I retired in 14, so in 2011, 2010, I went to New Mexico because he was in New Mexico training with Greg Jackson. Um, uh, we met we met you know we met at the UFC at one of the UFC in Vegas. And uh, he had just won the Ultimate Fighter, and then we, you know, me and George and I went to Albuquerque, New Mexico. We stayed there. We trained with Rashad and everybody there, and we just became good friends, man. It's just this guy's so funny, man. This guy's so funny, good guy, um, great fighter. Um, yeah, we're just good friends still today. We still keep in touch. We still shoot texts every once in a while. Uh, yeah, man, great guy, great guy. Just like uh, yeah, him, George, like who, who do I keep in touch with from the Jackson's camp? Yeah, I spoke to Keith Jardine. We shot each the other. The dean yeah, of me, dean and of you me, know yeah. that I, I I'm so stoked every time I see Keith Jardine and oh, who's the other guy? Because they've been at the acting thing for a while and it's paying off. Um, is it Cowboy? Or? No, not Cowboy. Another guy who used to be. Um, he did, did the Mandalorian. Um, oh my God! I, I know. I yeah, know. yeah, yeah. He used tip, to have this tip, big, big beard, yes, but he doesn't yes. have anymore. Tip oh, it tongue. sucks. Yeah, then. Yeah, yes, yeah. I, know, I, I know. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, but yeah, the Dean of Mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the great, one of the greatest nicknames ever. The Dean, Dean of, of Mean, mean. Keith Jardine. And, and he had he had a T-shirts for sale. It says Mean, and then one, the Mean one. It was dope, <laughs> man. It was dope. <laughs> Keith Jardine, man, love this guy. He's such a nice guy. Well, he, he seems like well, he, yeah, and, and the coffee thing. That's right, yeah. Caveman Coffee. Yeah. That's that's yeah. that's that's yeah. Keith. Yeah, yeah, strong guy, man. Strong, yeah. strong, heavy hitter, good puncher. Yeah, man, this MMA journey is uh is is you meet a lot of great people, man. A lot of a lot of people that that you think would be like uh, cool as hell. I remember you sent me a video with Dean Lester. Yeah, Dean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like, Dean, 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 man. Dean, this guy's man. He ordered your DVD. He bought your DVDs, man. That's right. He's a real fan. That's, that's <laughs> shooting. That was so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dean Lister, man. I remember staying at his house doing a training camp in, in uh, San Diego, California. 
that's one thing I did, man. I did a lot of camps. You know, all over I, the place. Yeah, I, I traveled a lot because I wanted, I wanted to learn from different people, different points of views. You know, I just wanted to see what was, you know, how how it was. You know, the training methods out there. You know, and because it was in the beginning, like you, yeah, there wasn't. It's not like today you got these big camps in American Top Team and you go here and you go TriStar. Yeah. You know, they did yeah. these, these big, 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 big camps. Yeah. But they were just starting. They were starting. The you know, you had starting. names like Greg Jackson. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You got to go to Albuquerque. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe. Yeah, man. I remember. I remember. So I'm trained with Dean Lister. He's like, yeah, today we're going to Dan Henderson's gym. I'm like, oh, that's cool, man. <laughs> we're going to spar. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, 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 I, so I get there. I, let me tell you something. This is 2007. <laughs> I don't fear nobody. Yeah. I don't care who you are. Oh, oh, Hercules there. I um I'll be there at six. I didn't I was crazy, bro. I didn't care. I didn't care who it was. Oh <laughs> I didn't care if it was Vendley Silva. Yeah, yeah. Man. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, but but anyway, so so, yeah, so, we're, so, so so we're driving up, we're driving up. And um so I get there, so there's Dan Henderson, there was uh, Tom Watson, Chell Sonnen. Dean Lister, myself. Who else was there? Mayhem Miller, Jason Mayhem Miller, yeah, yeah, yeah. Prime Mayhem Miller, yeah, 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 a yeah, fucking animal. I know. Um, um, so all these guys were there. So I'm like, was I set up or what? <laughs> this, this is gonna be a fucking rough night. And there was there was an, there was another few animals that were there. I don't remember who, but I, I named a few. You know, just myself, Dean Lister, Dan Henderson, Chelsea, and, and Mayhem Miller. That's that's enough. And there was more. So we start, then there's other guys, there's other guys too. Um, so we spar, rah, rah, rah. It, it was a great training session, but man, I had a headache after. I remember once, um, so I, I, at the end of my round with Dan Henderson, <laughs> I'm doing good, but then at the end, <laughs> bell, as the bell, the bell is about to ring. So I'm like, ah, man, it's easy. He lands that right hand, ding, <laughs> bell rings. And I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, that's the, the that's the H bomb, the Anderson <laughs> bomb. Did knock me out, but man, I felt it. Yeah, I felt it, and I was like glad it was the last round of the sparring. I was man, glad. People forget that sometimes that guy, he's the first double champ. Yeah, Pride FC. And yes. UFC. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. He was no joke. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. And Legit. you know, and when you were talking about like uh, like sparring and stuff, there's also all these guys. That would spar with these people that we know their names. There were fucking animals in the gym yeah. that you never heard about, yeah. but they were in every training camp of these guys. Yeah. So, so they had to be good. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah, yeah. it was sure. like fuck. Yeah, there's a lot of guys that 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 you never hear of. No, that are freaking. But they're yeah, they're freaking animals, man. You know, <sighs> that's so good. Yeah, man. Hey, one thing I never talked to you about was the 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 movie, the striking truth. Yeah, the documentary. Yes, yes, yes. yes. How yes. did that like? Because I, I don't we, I, ever. I don't think I've ever ever asked you the question about. That. Um. Yeah, the, I was. I was. Um. What was it? It was after my title fight. I met uh, Stephen Wong, a, a guy from Toronto that was doing documentaries and all that stuff, and he was telling me about shooting documentaries i'm like yeah man you know you should shoot me and george and then then sat down with george and i then we came up with with you know a contract and all that stuff and he did it man did it, you like it, it it was it was it was cool man it was cool um the only thing is like i i it is what it is but i i wish it was so focused on my failures and like the way it went down after my Franklin fight and all that yeah. stuff. Like it didn't, f and it focused on George's come up. Yeah. And it didn't focus at all on what I've done for the sport, you know, like how I built the sport in Quebec and how I made it to the UFC and all that stuff. It, it was like, oh, he was good, but blah, blah, blah. so I was like, when I saw it, I was like, yeah, whatever. But but it's still it was still well done very well done you yeah know, but, but it sucked yeah that, <laughs> you're allowed to say it yeah, it's not yeah, a knock I, on and that's the, because that's the power and of documentaries yeah is that how are you gonna what are you showing how are you showing it what's the narrative you're putting out yeah yeah you know what i mean yeah exactly so you could show like to me it's always 
it's a, okay, it's important to show the rise, and then you know if shit happens, okay, shit happens. That 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 fight with Franklin was epic. Mm-hmm. You lost, okay, you lost. And yeah, it exactly. sucked, but it was a great fight, you know. And then, but then you you went on to it, so. That's the thing about sometimes documentaries. You go, uh, what, what, what's, what's the point here? What are we trying to, sh- you know, we're trying to show you. Yeah, yeah. And it's not just to glorify everything. Oh, my life is just great. But see, that's input that could have been, yeah, clearer from you know whoever saying, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Because 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 people it, forget. People forget, and it's really. You know, the way I say that George is underrated, I believe, uh, underappreciated, I believe is the same for me, for what I've done for the sport in Quebec. You know, always, 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 always been respectful and conducted myself like a pro. I was the first one, ask GSP, I was the first one to wear the suits, you know, to the press conferences and all that stuff. I was the one. I was, is the that, one. was that conscious? Was that you saying I want to look good? Absolutely, man. Yeah. I, I saw that I was seeing the basketball players doing That's that. That's what I was wondering. You know, I was like, okay, yeah. I'm, I'm going to do that stuff, you know. And, uh, and I, you know, I was looking up to some boxers that were always wearing suits and stuff like that as well. You know, basketball players, uh, boxers. Yeah, man, I was, I was wearing suits and blah, 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 very polite. And, uh, but like you said, man, I wasn't really myself. <laughs> I wasn't really myself, man. But yeah, it's a crazy journey, man. Well, but, that's the thing. Yeah. It's the journey. And you, the only way that you'll figure it out is you got to live it. You got to live it. And at the end of the day, yeah, what are you going to do about it? It's your fault. What you going to do about it? You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm, I write my story. I write my story. So maybe I'll do a documentary and, you know, on my thing, I'll, I'll direct it myself. Who said? Who who says I can't? You know, I could do it a hundred percent. That's the beauty of now. Yeah, 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 yeah. This. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, man. Exactly, you got great man. friends like Barbo. Who you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I have a crazy story. There. Before I even stepped a foot in, you the have room. a crazy. You, you have yeah. a crazy uh, goddamn uh, idea of a, of a of a TV series. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. You know. Yeah. So yeah. You, I, you you're not short on ideas. Yeah. That I know. Yeah, man, 100%. But you had this crazy story? I got cut you off, but... Oh, that That, that, that you would like to... to, to man. Shoot um, or, or, or... Yeah, I mean, if you want. I mean, I mean, before I even stepped in the cage, I had a crazy car accident when I was 18 years old. You know, I have... Uh, I fractured my spinal cord. Um, I, I, I was I was in the passenger seat and... and um, the driver um, lost control of the car, and the car, like he, they was, he was speeding, so the car started flipping over and all that stuff. I wake up in the ambulance. I was, I was concussed for, for, for. I was out for, I don't know how long, but I was out for very long. And um, I wake up in the ambulance, and and man, I had, I had the surgery, um, C5, C7. Till today, I have a plate with four screws in my back, in my neck. Um, they took a part of my hip bone to fuse the discs. It was serious stuff, man. I had to learn. I had to get back to, on my feet and start walking again. And I, that's before any MMA stuff, you know. I had to. That's why a lot of people, man, you're so happy all the time, man. I'm grateful. I'm grateful, man. Thank God. I'm, I, I believe I'm one of the luckiest person in the world, you know. And um, and um, and that accident caused. You know, yes, I recovered from it physically, but created some trauma, some mm. PTSD, some, some, so, you know, sometimes uh, for many years I would wake up in the middle of the night freaking out, panicking, you know, panic attacks because of the accident. You know, it's, it's a, you know, sometimes I would um, get in a car and if someone else is driving, I would freak out, mm. you know, stuff like that. It would affect my fighting for a hundred percent the pre-fight anxiety or and all that stuff has to do with all that stuff because 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 of trauma you know it was not only i had the neck broken but it was a big head trauma like i was concussed i was out for i, I don't know how long a few hours i was i was it, it was pretty bad and um yeah was man the driver okay is, is, is everybody he, was okay, okay. Was, we were four in the car everybody was okay. okay everybody but me so um yeah man i recovered from that Thank God, I thank God every day. Um, and God me gave me a second chance at life, and I said, you know what, man, I'm gonna do what I love, and I want to fight. 
So let me give it a shot. My parents were, were not too happy about it, but I remember they were telling me to be a professional, to treat it like a profession, be a hundred percent professional. And that's what I did. That's what I did. And that's probably why I went my, my 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 rise to the UFC was so fast because I was so so professional with my approach to training and all that stuff, you know. Yeah. So yeah, man. I did it. I did I, I went I went through some some stuff way before the fighting. So I'm proud of myself regardless of, of if I would have won one belt or zero belt or you know, I'm proud a hundred percent. You better be, <laughs> goddammit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. was awesome. Yeah, man. Buddy. Yeah, man. My man. All right. Yo. Thank you. LP Dynamite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>